started after my daughter's school um, had the chick hatching project from Casey Farm come into her school and I chaperoned um, the visit and I decided that I wanted to do it myself. So I um, inquired and I had Casey Farm come in and I've been doing it for about I would say 10 to 12 years. We get the we go down, we get the eggs, and then in 21 days they hatch. We talk about the life cycle, what develops every day, go through the life cycle of the embryo, and then hatch day is 21 days later. I integrate this into my science classroom um, because we do life cycle of organisms, and it's really something that happens in the first part of the year in our curriculum, but. Naturally, the eggs are not available until spring, so I integrated in through that. And we talk about the life cycle, the stages of development, talk about how they grow from something as small as the head of a pin in 21 days to being a full-size chick. The kids are responsible for setting up the brooder box, which is the cardboard box, and they get the sawdust and the food and everything prepared for them. We make sure that before they get into that, that Temperatures maintained at 100 degrees inside the incubator, and we add water to it one trough, and then on the 18th day, we take them out of the cradle that they've been in, which slowly rocks them back and forth, and then we put them on the screen, and between day 18 and 21, they hatch. And then the kids watch them dry off, and then bring them back into the brooder box, and then after that, they can handle them. So the red ones are going to be our state bird, the Rhode Island Red. And these black ones are going to be, are called Black Rangers. They have little black feet. Um, and they go back to Casey Farm and they're on a working farm um, until they become adults. They'll have their wings by the end of the week too. They'll definitely have wing feathers.